you begin your book discussing Hollywood's first blockbuster, which was uh, The Birth of a Nation, 1915. It played for four years. But in that same period, um, the reemergence of the Ku Klux Klan happened. So how do you see those two linked? And, and what does that say about the power of cinema and imagery? Yes, at that time in 1915, one out of four people in this country went to see this very mm -hmm. racist, vile, vulgar movie, The Birth of a Nation. Um, and so those one out of four people were often wowed by the movie. Uh, and because of its imagery and its storytelling, uh, but it was also a very harmful movie to Black Americans. Um, it showed the Ku Klux Klan as heroic, and it showed Black men as rapists. Uh, and so it was a very terrifying movie for Blacks. And it also had a premiere inside of Woodrow Wilson's White House. So that gave mm -hmm. the movie an extra cachet. Uh, and so senators started talking about the movie. Southern school teachers started uh, telling stories about the movie. They started assigning Thomas Dixon's novel, uh, which was the source material for the movie. Uh, and so, it really became the Star Wars, the Jaws of its time. Uh, and it came out in 1915 and it really ignited nationwide protests from blacks and many whites who were friends of blacks. And they marched around theaters uh, and they wrote letters uh, to their senators and to their house members. Uh, they were very appalled by this movie. People went to jail because they were picketing this movie. Uh, it created a sensation, one of the first epic civil rights moments, one might say, in this country.